Okay, so I'm going to show you how to kind of set up your Plickers account and manage your classes. I'm not going to show you how to use it like I did today during the meeting because once you have the app on your phone, it's really easy just to kind of go through. It tells, shows you where to um, press to add new questions and things. But the first thing, you need to have an iOS phone, like an iPhone, an Apple iPhone, or an Android phone. And you can click one of these in order to... Um, download it. So if you go to iTunes and type in Plickers, this is where it, it's free. So I download it, put it on my phone, and it kind of gives you some screenshots. Here's a screenshot as to um, how you'll write the new question, choose the right answer, and press done. If you press this little camera button, that's when you can kind of scan from this view right here. And it shows you the graph of which kids answered which ones and which kids um, have answered the question and got it right. Okay, so when you go to Plickers.com, the first thing you'll need to do is create an account, so you'll sign in. Now, if you want to sign up for a new one, you'll press sign up now. The only thing you have to put is just your first name, last name, email address, and then a password. Okay, since I have already um, have an account, let me just show you. So I'm going to sign in. Okay. And let me... I'm going to use my CUSD account. And then these are the classes I have. I have the Wood Staff. This is the one that I, I made for it to show at the meeting today. The actual um, class that I use for my, my class at Woods. And then I just put together a demo. So I'm going to edit my class just so I can show you how to put more names in. So every time you type in a name and press enter, it assigns it to a different card. Okay, and the cards when I the ones I gave you today had a number on them, and I'll show you in a minute afterwards. So J Josh Andrews, Kelsey Brown, let's say Sarah, oops, Craft, and I just hit enter, and Brian Davis. Okay, as you see, every time you do it, it assigns a number, a card number to them. And you might think, well, where do I get those cards from? Okay. Well, you get those cards. So once you've put it in, it's saved. You can go to details. And details, it says, student cards, get your cards. Okay. Now it says, print them yourself. And it kind of gives you two options. The first one is the ones I gave you. It has two per page. I just cut it, cut them in half and then I laminated them. And you see how every card has a number on it. So back how it said like, you know, each student was card one, card two, card three, card four. So anytime it scans card four, it's going to attribute that answer to that student. In that case, it was Brian Davis, okay? I have my kids write their names in the back on, them, on the back of them with marker. Okay? You can also get the ones, if you click down here, that are one per page. It's bigger. Okay, more ink, uh, more paper, but harder to lose. So if you have um, younger grades, you know, the lower grades, you might want to use these big ones. Okay, you just print them up. Have them write their name on the back, laminate them, have them keep them in their folders or in their desk. Okay. And so from there, what's kind of nice too, let's see, let me go back to my account my account and let me go to my classes now if I click on on it it keeps track of all of the questions that I've done so today I did a out, question on the outlier the mean the median has how many kids I have answered it and those after they went to band um, okay and I could click on this and it would show me um, it would show me who answered what question. But there's first and last names. I don't want to put that up online on YouTube for people to see. Okay. Now, if you press this teach button, whatever question you've created on your phone, um, it will show you a live bar graph as it happens. But as you can see on your telephone, it creates a bar graph right here for you as the kids answer them. Okay. So it gives you the data in a lot of different places. All right. So again, I'm not going to go into the details on how to use it on your phone because it's really easy. You know, if you have this little screenshot right here, you press the plus to add a new question. You type in the question, 
pick which answer choice is right, hit done, and then press the camera button to go ahead and record. And what's neat is, as you can see here, when it scans an answer, it tells you the name of the person. Okay? So any more questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'll also include the links um, of where to click to to take you right to where the cards are, so you can just print them up from there.